Roots in Plants Water and minerals are absorbed from the soil by all plant roots. Dicots have tap root systems, which are different from branched roots. Roots generally extend outward from tree branches much further than the shoots. Root morphology is controlled by genetic factors, but soil environments also play a vital role. Roots with branching patterns is flexible. The same species in different environments have different patterns of root than shoots. Roots spread laterally close to the surface. They cannot grow very deep. 1. Mechanical impediments 2. Temperature and aeration 3. Availability of moisture and mineral salts All play a role in this. In extremely moist or fertile areas, Roots will proliferate widely until they run out of water or nutrients, then they will grow into new areas by forming more branching or feeder roots. Where water is more easily accessible deep underground, roots are found. Plants that are adapted to dry conditions do not have deep roots, as shallow roots are able to take advantage of short rains. In reality, the roots of some species grow both close to the soil surface and at considerable depths. These are probably adaptations to variable climate conditions. Because roots are so hard to observe, we know far too little about their properties in soils. One dot, however, Careful studies have shown that branch roots in annual crops only last for a few days, and perennial species live for a year or longer before decay. Two dots some desert shrubs will replace up to one quarter of their root system each year, and the new roots will absorb water and minerals from new locations. 3. Yearly root loss is much less than that of perennial shrubs, and the long life span of old roots helps to explain why grasses are so effective at preventing soil erosion. 4. 1. Little is known about tree root death and replacement, but reports suggest that cylindrical and filamentous, long, narrow roots, play a surprisingly important role in absorption. 5. A cylinder root has more force per unit area. 6. This shape, with its objective root cap, is likely to help growing roots push soil particles aside without crushing the roots, but the filamentous roots allow for much more soil to be explored per unit of root volume. 7. Roots need to be able to interact with water and ions when exploring large soil volumes. 8. When the soil is moist or wet, water diffusion towards roots is relatively rapid. 9. However, when the soil is dry, water diffusion decreases 1,000-fold, making it difficult for the roots to acquire water and minerals dissolved within the soil. This contributes to grasses' remarkable ability to inhibit soil erosion. There is little information on the death and replacement of tree roots. However, according to reports summarized in Pinus Trees, 100 years have 5 million root tips and red oak trees have 500 million live tips. Cylindrical roots, long and narrow, are surprisingly important for absorbing water and salute from soils. A cylindrical shaped root has more strength per area than an L shape. This shape, along with the protective root cap, is likely to grow roots that force soil particles into the soil without crushing the roots. 
Filamentous roots allow us to explore much larger soil volumes per unit of root volume than we would be able to do if the roots were in a sphere or disc shape. For roots to interact with water and ions, large soil volumes must be explored. Water diffusion towards roots is relatively rapid when the soil is moist or wet. However, when the soil is dry, water diffusion decreases 1000 times.